In this ukulele tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play the real strum pattern to Lava, one of the greatest ukulele songs ever written. And trust me, it is not the island strum. All right, welcome to Ukulele the Pros. I'm Terry Carter. Thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, haven't done so already, please subscribe. <laughs> Turn on that bell notification. And if you dig in what we're doing in the video, make sure that smash that like button. All right, so Lava, what a great song. We have a full tutorial. We have jam tracks. We have play along. We have all that kind of stuff if you're interested in that. But this one, I'm just going to talk about the strum pattern. Most people would just say, just use the island strum. What is the island strum? It for sure works. As a matter of fact, and if you listen to the actual song, they do throw the island strum in from time to time. But let's let's not do it. Let's do what they're really doing. But really makes the song pop a little bit. I'm gonna show you that in a second. By the way, I am playing. <laughs> if you know me, you're like, that looks like a small tenor ukulele you're holding. This is my soprano Koloha KSM00. They just sent me this. I've kind of been wanting to have one and perfect timing to do a song like this because it actually sounds really good on soprano. I do have it plugged in to uh, my LR Bags pickup that I have installed. But anyway, if you dig this, check out store.youcutthepros.com, the number one site online to get this, uh, this instrument. Now, Lava, it's only three chords, by the way. Three chords. Three chords. I'm not going to show you the whole song. I'm just going to talk about the strum pattern. But those chords are just C. G7. And that's it. So you could actually take this and go to the song and play it because that's it. <laughs> that's it. Three chords. Matter of fact, the first three chords you should play. Now, this book, this Disney ukulele or hits for ukulele, it does have a lava in there. It has the sheet music, the, the chords, all that stuff. But guess what? It doesn't have the strum pattern. Nope. What do you got to do? You got to listen to it. And so I listened to it and I was like, you know what? I like what they're doing. It's a really cool strum pattern. Uh, and we're going to dive into that right now. So anyway, let's do that. But first, if you're digging what we're doing here, tutorials, you want to learn, you want to get better, make sure to check out ukulectepros.com. That's where you, we have all our courses. We have a premium membership. We got free stuff as well. But come on over, be part of the Ukulele Pros Nation. That's how you grow. That's how you get better is by being part of a community. And you're going to get much better and have a much more pleasant, fun, enjoyable experience over there. So ukulectepros.com. All right. Grab your C chord. This is the strum pattern. I'm going to play it for you a couple of times. And then could, can you write it out? Could you literally write it out? We'll see if you can do it. That's it. That's it. Now, little tip. It's almost like the island strum, but missing one thing. Okay? And then it has one little special thing that most people don't know, but without it, it doesn't sound as cool or authentic as it does without one, these two little things that they put in, okay? Do it one more time, and then and I'll see, see, let's see if you got it right. All right, so that's it. Now, all I'm doing here, real simple, check yourself, check to see if you got it. Down, beat one, down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> It's so simple. It seems right, that's it. That's all you're doing. That's it. Now, the island strum is just like that, except the island strum has a tie between and of two and three, and this one doesn't. So this one's just down, down, up, down, up, down. Up. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, that's cool. You could just play it like that, but you're missing one thing. You're missing one thing. Uh, don't forget, if you want, if you like the song, and you want like the sheet music or you want the, the words and the chords, we'll put a link to that below. You can go check that out. Um, well, it's totally for free. You just got to go sign up um, for that. All right. Now, let me show this to you real quick. Check this out. See if you can listen. What am I doing on beats two and four? That's what I want you to answer. That's it. Now, I kind of over-exaggerated a little bit. You probably don't want to play quite like that. But all I'm doing is accenting 
beats two and four, and all that means is I'm strumming a little harder. And what that does, it gives it a little bit of a backbeat, gives it a little bit of a, it almost feels like you're swinging a little bit, even though you're not. So it's just down, accent, accent, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. All right, how you doing? Leave a comment below, how you doing? One to five, that's how we always rank it here at Euclid's Pros. One being struggling, hard, Need some work or five beans. What else you got for me, Terry? This is too easy. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do now is we're going to bring the backing track in. We're just going to do the intro, okay? The intro is real simple. It's just C, two measures, now G7, two measures, F, C, and G7. That's it for two measures. And that's the intro. Matter of fact, that's the verse. You get that? You almost got the whole song. All right, so let's see how you do with that strum pattern, with this intro. Come on, let's go. A one, two, three, four. All right, that was it. Hopefully you did all right on that. That is a strum pattern. You're gonna notice you can vary it up a little bit. You don't always have to hit the accent so hard. You know, like I said, just kind of be loose with it. That's the track's really loose anyways when you listen to it. But that's how you play the strum pattern, the lava. Matter of fact, I just showed you most of the song anyways right there. So if you want the full tutorial and play along, sing along, we do have video for that. We'll put links to that below. You can find them here on YouTube as well. So, all right, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to check out youcutthepros.com. Come be part of that nation that we have growing over there, a worldwide community. Thanks for the comments. Appreciate that. Thanks for the smashing the like button. And thanks for subscribing to the channel. Without you, we're not here and we can't continue to grow. So thank you. Until then, be safe. We'll see you next time.